Kevin Feige updates us on Marvel Phase 4. With Captain Marvel hitting theaters next week and Avengers Endgame just around the corner in April, hype is building to a fever pitch for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And while fans continue to comb through every table scrap for any hint of what to expect for the future of the MCU, thankfully Kevin Feige may have finally given us a first real peek of what to expect in Phase 4. Now in the past, it's been the norm for Marvel to lay out some sort of roadmap to let fans know what movies are coming down the pipeline, as was the case for Phase 2 and 3. And now that the fear of spoiling Endgame is almost past, Feige and company are finally spilling some beans, so let's break it all down. Possible spoiler warning. I feel guilty if I don't say it. Right out of the gate, the biggest question fans have is what is next after Spider-Man Far From Home, since that is the first film to kick off Phase 4. While Feige wouldn't come right out and give a detailed slate with premiere dates, he did reveal that we should expect to find out soon. Speaking to comicbook.com, Feige said, As we've been doing for years, we aren't going to announce anything post-Avengers Endgame or Spider-Man Far From Home until post-Endgame and Spider-Man. All right. He went on to tell Collider everything after Avengers Endgame and after Spider-Man Far From Home will be different and be unique as we try to make every film. But seeing returning characters is certainly something we're going to do and want to do. But also introducing characters that the majority of the world has never heard of, much like Guardians of the Galaxy, much like Avengers before we made Avengers. And there are lots of them. So, yeah, while it kind of sucks that we have to wait until at least midsummer to find out what's exactly on the horizon, we can piece together some of the upcoming slate based on reports, rumblings, and rumors, like the Black Widow solo film, which Feige confirmed will not be R-rated, Black Panther 2 and Doctor Strange 2, both of which have their directors returning, and of course, there was Guardians 3, but that has been put on the back burner until all of the director nonsense can be worked out. But with Guardians on hold, that doesn't mean Feige is ditching the cosmic corner of the MCU. We've known for a while that Marvel has been interested in pursuing the Eternals, a group of superheroes that were offshoots of humanity. And while speaking with comicbook.com, Feige revealed that Jack Kirby did an immense, amazing epic with Eternals that spans tens of thousands of years, and that's also something we haven't really done, which is why that, among many other things post-Endgame, we find appealing. So Marvel is still considering going epic with an Eternals movie, but how might they introduce such a huge story and group of characters? Feige has an idea for that too. Eternals are one group, but we like the idea of introducing an ensemble, doing an ensemble movie from the start, as opposed to building up as we did with the first Avengers. More like Guardians, not tonally, but in terms of introducing a new group of people. Feige also mentioned the immediate potential of a Nova film, but didn't offer any more specific updates on that. And while we have seen the Nova Corps in play with the first Guardians film, if Marvel's looking to go epic and expansive, then adding a super-powered human with all the powers of the entire Nova Corps should definitely do the trick. And speaking of expansive, Feige even had a word or two to share on the new Disney Plus streaming service. While he only specifically mentioned the Loki series, we've also heard rumblings of at least two other MCU-related Disney Plus series, one centered on Scarlet Witch and another featuring Bucky Barnes and Sam Wilson. According to him, these will be Marvel Studios productions. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige told comicbook.com. They will be entirely interwoven with both the current MCU, the past MCU, and the future of the MCU. No one might read between the lines to detect the slightest amount of shade to the recently canceled Netflix Marvel series, which were never really embraced by the MCU. RIP Netflix Marvelverse. So what about the other elephant in the room? The newly reacquired rights to the X-Men and Fantastic Four, thanks to the Fox deal. While Feige didn't specifically mention when the X-Men and the FF might join the Marvel sandbox, he did give us a clue that having hundreds more Marvel characters back under the same roof might not necessarily mean more than three MCU films a year. We've always said that there are no mandates to make any more than two films a year, Feige explained, but as we've seen the last couple years, when it naturally happens and when there are ideas and when there are teams ready to go, we're not going to hold something back. And with Black Panther snagging three Academy Awards during its outstanding Oscar night, Marvel is certainly in the best position to decide how to move forward with expanding the MCU even further. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait until after Spider-Man Far From Home to find out any more specific info on what movies will come out next. But it's not all bad news. Feige did confirm there will be a new Endgame trailer coming soon, and we'll have that to look forward to as we head into the home stretch of Phase 3. But what do you folks think? Do you like the idea of Phase 4 MCU going epic with the Eternals and Nova? What about the Fantastic Four? And what other Marvel characters are you hoping to see hit the big screen? Let's discuss! Be sure to like, subscribe, and mash that little bell to get notified when we go live with the show or drop a new video. And hey, did you guys watch the Oscars last night? 
If you've still got Shallow stuck in your head, don't miss our parody, A Star Wars is Born, a duet between Rey and Kylo Ren. Check it out on Nerdist YouTube right now.